that Katie wrote this next one that she's going to do. Um, they do a lot of their own stuff too, and a lot of people have never heard it, so it's kind of hard to sing along with. But if you watch those Jasper, Georgia prayer meeting videos on YouTube that my camera lady here has put on there, she's put like a thousand videos on YouTube, and they're all over the place. And and uh, one girl said that she said, you know, and she worked for Chamber of Commerce up in Pickens County. She said, you know, she said. I googled Bruce Weeks family, and I ain't gonna tell you what she said. Well, I go ahead. I'll just tell you what she said. She said, "You know what?" She said, "I googled y'all's name, and she said it was like bluegrass porn." <laughs> <laughs> she said, "She said it just kept coming up." She said, "I got 20 pages, and you were still coming up with videos and and stuff like that." And well, I've never quite been described as bluegrass porn. I don't know how to take that. I would prefer it never happened. Yeah, I, I was kind of, it was kind of wild, but I thought, well, now that's unique in itself right there. I've never thought about that, but, but it, 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 I feel like I've been violated, don't you, somewhere or another down the line. I'm a lady. Let's but, uh, but this song right here, I really do like a lot. Katie wrote it, and, um, I come home from Alabama one rainy night and I'd been over buying some guitars from some people and came home and she was sitting up in the bed and she was writing this song and she had written the first part of it and the second part of it and she'd gotten kind of stuck and frustrated and she came in there and she sung the first two parts of it and, and one of them was, uh, I come, I come to the Lord and I've got all my problems, I've got all my baggage, Every, all of us got some baggage and problems, amen? Oh, come on now, let's be honest. We all got some hang-ups and issues in our life. And those moments of crisis, those moments that you're really struggling with things, that's the moments that you seem the most inspired. And she was really struggling. She said, you know, I'm coming to the Lord with all my problems, all my baggage, all my hang-ups. And then she wrote this next verse because she knows the answer. She knows that the Bible tells us that Jesus comes with the answer. And so she wrote this next verse to it, and it's like He comes. He comes with your answer. He comes with a journey for your path. He comes with a spirit that's willing to mend, willing to mend you. Jesus comes because of the cross. He comes with outstretched arms, and He says, I'm willing to fix whatever it is that's going wrong in your life. He says, I'm willing to do that. You see, God's not about punishing us. God's about restoring us and blessing us. He wants to take that which is wrong in our life and turn it around and turn it into a blessing. And so she's stuck in the middle of this song and her mama says, well, hey, you know, you've written I come and he comes, but I guess the real question is, is will you come? Because that's where we get hung up. We get hung up thinking that we're too dirty to come to the Lord. We get to thinking we're not good enough to come to the Lord. But as I've said many times at church, you just got to pick up your two bags of nasty and tote it to the foot of Calvary and set it down and say, okay, Lord, there it is. Here's my problem and let Him deal with it. So listen to the words of this song. It's called, I Come. Worship with her. <laughs> 